as an introduction. Why is, uh, is this approach is so unique? 
Well, I think that if you just look at the results of David Fincher's movies, the answer to that question is because he wants it to be perfect. And he's willing to take however long it takes to make it perfect in his mind. And he's one of these directors who not only knows what he wants, but he's already cut the movie in his head. So he knows exactly what he needs to shoot. And he knows what he doesn't need to shoot because he knows I'm never going to use a two shot. I'm never going to use this. I need this, this, this. And so in one way, as an actor, it's a very satisfying experience because you end up doing more takes in a setup because you're only doing three or four setups as opposed to many directors who don't know what they want and aren't sure how they want to edit it, so they have to shoot it from every possible angle, and so you're spending your day doing lots of different setups, but you don't get as many takes. But with David, I mean, I, I've been in a situation where, you know, we were on take 25, and he hadn't yet said anything to me about how to make it better. So I go, we, he go, he go, let's do that again. And I go, you want to, you, no, let's just do it again. <laughs> okay, but should, should I do, just let's do it again. <laughs> so you do it again, and I think to some degree when you start, take 15, take 16, <laughs> take 17, and, and you're not getting any feedback, I, it took me a while to realize that he's just beating the acting out of me. It's because you, because at, at a certain point you start to feel like, oh, I'm crap, I'm gonna get fired next. And, but what he's doing is he's just trying to get you as simple, as clear, as clean, as direct, and fast, because he likes it fast, as you can possibly get. And, and there are some people who, who don't like that way of working, but I do. But, but, but also, he will give me direction. There have been times when he would say something like, I remember on House of Cards, which he directed the first two episodes of, <laughs> was he used to tell, and it was the story of his very first film, as an actor. He'd been in the theater, he'd done live television, but this was a movie called It Should Happen to You When You Get Holiday. It was directed by George Cougar and written by Garson Pan. And Jack said, I was, I mean, I was terrible. I mean, I, I thought this is my first movie, I'm gonna get an Oscar. I'm just, I'm, I'm off. And so he was shooting his first scene. And he did the scene, and George Cougar came up to him and he said, Jack, that was wonderful. Let's do it again, just a little less this time. Just a, a little less. And Jack said, less? You mean less than what I just did? He said, yeah, just a little less. He said, oh, yeah. So they did the take again, and George Cougar walked up to them and said, that was really wonderful, Jack, just a little less. <laughs> so I said, less, less than what I just did? He goes, yeah, just a little less. So they did another take. George Cougar walked up and said, Mr. Lemons, a little less. He said, less? Less than what I just did? If I do any less, I'm not going to be acting. <laughs> and George Cooper said exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we did. So we um, did like detect the character of the actor uh, and and also the part of uh, like another dimension of. The, the technical the, the skills. So the talent converges uh, skills. Uh, how do you, uh, I mean, uh, how, how, uh, I'm not talking about the percentage of these or that, but uh, how do you value this combination of, of both of them? Because there are also great actors that we see, first of all, their talent, and then other ones that we, uh, first of all, notice their, their technical skills. And, of course, the genius actors we both of them. Uh, okay, uh, I'll try to answer that. Um, I suppose that, if, if we just think about it, um, there are certain things that are technical things that an actor absolutely needs to work in the theater. You have to have a voice. To be able to, to have an audience go, who just spoke? Hello? Uh, and you have to have an ability um, to be heard, to be understood, and to not lose your voice giving seven or eight performances a week. So it's not just like shooting a scene in a movie for two minutes and they take the camera away and you never do it again. 
There are athletic aspects of being an actor that you absolutely must have. You must have them to be able to succeed in the theater that you do not have to have in the cinema. Now, do I believe that doing theater, learning your craft, building your voice, learning about stamina, understanding about what it means to get up and make it alive and fresh every single night is going to have value for you in cinema? Absolutely. And all you have to do is look back at the history of cinema and see how many greatest actors learned their craft in the theater before they ever stepped in front of the camera.